Hey guys, this is Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and this is the third video in a set of videos that shows you how to do a wall map or a, uh, what I call a high quality cartographic map uh, setup. In uh, we're we're starting in AutoCAD Civil 3D, and then at some point when we have some initial work done, we'll, we'll probably migrate over to Adobe Illustrator, or Inkscape. So in the first two videos, we worked on getting this uh, first. Uh, sheet set up. I decided in the last video we're going to do two sheets. We're going to have one for the waterfront and then we're going to do a second uh, sheet for the uh, that focuses on the downtown. We're at one inch equals 200 for a map scale. So what we're going to do now is we're going to copy this layout in this video. We're going to get this second sheet set up and then we're going to plug some of these gaps around our images. So we'll say uh, create copy and uh, we're going to call this the downtown map. So Stockton has a downtown and a waterfront that are adjacent to each other. Okay, <clears throat> so I, I can come over here to my downtown map and I'm just going to make this viewport active and I'm just going to pan it. We'll keep it at the same scale, but we're going to pan over uh, to focus on the downtown here. And there's going to be some overlap between the two sheets. That's okay. I actually want that. Okay, so now we've got our two sheets. We want to plug these gaps with our background imagery, though. So the way I do that, <clears throat> we're going to make a new layer. And I'll show you my trick for that. And I'm going to call this new layer Lines Viewport Footprint. And uh, we'll give those a different color. Uh, we'll go with Cyan. Should have made that layer current. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw a rectangle over my viewport. And uh, we want to make sure that we grab the actual viewport boundaries, not the not this boundary down here, the grid layout. So we're going to just trace over the viewport. And then uh, we're going to run this command called change space. CH space. I don't even know how to get to it through the menu because I'm old school. And we're going to select that rectangle. We'll hit enter. It asks you to, for the viewport. If you only have one viewport in your layout, it makes it active. You hit enter again. Then double click back into paper space. And when you're done running that command, what you'll get in model space now is your viewport ground, uh, boundary, which is pretty handy. So we're going to do that one more time. We're going to do it over here. You can see it's shown up too now in our other viewport. So we're going to run that rectangle command. We're going to trace it over the viewport. Then we'll run the change space command. Okay, so if we go to model now, you can see I've got both my viewport boundaries. Okay, so this is the area of overlap. And then when you set these sheets up, you want to make sure you don't have any labels across this line or this line so they don't get cut off. But we'll talk about that later. The main thing I wanted to do was get these footprints so I could fill in my gaps here with my background imagery. So let's go ahead, pull up our geolocation on the ribbon, turn our map back on. And we're just going to run along the edges here and capture the viewports. Gap here. So if we do this right, when we turn our map off, we'll have everything covered. So I didn't quite do it right. <laughs> so when I get a little sliver like this, uh, I just delete that tile. I just need to recapture that whole tile. So we got a couple areas here we need to get. So. Just zoom in on that, and then you turn this back on, capture, toggle it off, then we'll go plug those other gaps. We had one over here we got to get. And then we've got a gap down here we want to get.
All right, so now we've got everything covered. So when we come in here to our uh, sheets, uh, we don't have any gap. So that'll be the first map for the waterfront, and this will be the uh, the second map for downtown at one to two hundred. So uh, I like it. Looks good. Uh, hopefully we can fit what we need to fit in here. Just kind of as a test, you can draw a little piece of text. And uh, we're in paper space here, so I'm going to say, all right, I want my text to be at least a tenth high. And um, whoop. try that again, sorry. So, you know, I at least want to be able to, to get the street names in there. It looks like they'll fit. Um, so I think this is going to be a good scale. This text isn't too big. But there's plenty of room to label street marks and some, uh, or uh, street names and some landmarks, which is what we want. Okay. So I think we're good. I like the scale. So we'll go ahead and save this. And uh, this video is a little short. It's only at six minutes. You know what, let's plot one of these to PDF, and then uh, I'm going to do another video that shows you how you can create a, a Geo PDF. So uh, let's do that. Let's get set up to do that. So um, what we want to do, let's come over here to our model space. And what we want to do is we want to set up, uh, we're just going to do this for one of these sheets. So we're going to make a new layer. Call this uh, lines geo PDF. And, and we'll make that current. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run another offset. I'm going to do 100 feet offset on this, and we're going to just offset these rectangles 100 feet. Okay, and you're going to see why I'm doing that in a minute. Uh, we're just going to do one. So we'll just do this down. We'll just do the one for downtown. Okay, then we're going to freeze this uh, view, viewport footprint layer. Oh, except I can't do that because... I didn't get all my image tiles on the right layer, so we're going to right-click, select similar. Oh. Yeah, it's not going to let me do that. So we just got to grab all these ones on the edges and make sure they're on the right layer. That's why good layer management is so important, right? So those all need to be on the Bing layer. Okay, now I should be able to freeze this image footprint layer. Okay, so when we go to downtown, you're going to see we have this uh, purplish line now on the inside. And that's okay, because we're going to use this to, to create our Geo PDF. So let's go ahead and save this. And then uh, we're going to plot the PDF. So I'm going to just run a preview on this. There's my PDF. I'm okay with these colors. We haven't set all that yet. So I'm going to say plot. And we'll put this in the right spot. And uh, I'm just going to call this uh, Downtown Map Geo PDF Example. And uh, we're at 10 minutes, guys, so I appreciate you watching. What we'll do, uh, I'm going to do a quick video, and we'll show you how to turn this uh, crude uh, downtown map that we've got here uh, into a Geo PDF. Thanks for watching.